Hi, I am Sir Alan and I am doing this video para sa mga mag-aaral natin, especially sa elementary na kung saan at this point of time nahihirapan po sa pagsagot ng kanilang mga modules. I just hope na kahit pa paano makatulong po ang video na to. Okay, so this is... Mathematics 4 Quarter 1 Week 2 Okay, and Our topic This time is all about Rounding numbers to the nearest Thousands and ten thousands But before that Let's have a review Review first about The place value Of Digits in a number okay, so kailangan nating pag-aralan ulit ang lesson na to kasi kakailanganin natin ito when we are going to round numbers okay, so I have here 27,645 okay the digit that is found at the rightmost which is 5 is the ones digit okay five is the ones digit or the place value of five is ones while four is the tens digit six the hundreds seven is the thousands digit and two is the ten thousands so again the place value of 5 is 1's The place value of 4 is 10's The place value of 6 is 100's And the place value of 7 is 1000's And lastly, the place value of 2 is 10,000's Okay, let us proceed So let's start with Okay, so let, let us start with the rounding to the nearest thousands. Okay, so number one, let's try 47,345. Okay, so let us start with rounding to the nearest thousands. Okay, for number one. 47,345 So, if we are going to round 47,345 to the nearest thousands We are going to follow steps Okay? There are steps to follow Or there are steps that we need to follow in rounding numbers Okay? The first step is you are going to look at look at the digit to be rounded so in number one the digit to be rounded is seven so why seven okay let's try to check five is the ones digit four is the tens three is the hundreds digit and seven is in the thousands place so therefore, we are going to round 7, round this digit, okay? That's the first step. Step number 2, 
Look at the next digit at the right. So the next digit at the right of 7 is 3. Okay, according to the rule, if the next digit is less than 5. So when you say less than 5, that is 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. So if the next digit at the right is less than 5, so we are going to retain the number. We are not going to add 1, but instead we just, we are going to retain the number. So just copy the digit 7. Okay, right, 7. Then, how about 4? The digit uh, that is found at the left of 7. So simply copy also the digit 4. Okay. While 3, 4, and 5 will become 0. So change 3, 4, and 5 to 0. And that's, that is now the answer. So 47,345 rounded to the nearest thousands. The answer is 47. Okay. So another one, let us have another example. Okay, number two. Okay, let's try 84,631. Okay, rounded to the nearest thousands. So, step number one, look at the digit to be rounded. So, what is the digit in the thousands place? Okay, so this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and thousands. So, the digit four is the thousands. Uh... The digit 4 is the digit that is found in the thousands place. So therefore, we are going to round that digit. Okay, step 2. Look at the next digit at the right. So the next digit at the right of 4 is 6. Okay, so according to the rule, okay, if the next digit is 5 or more than 5, Okay, we are going to add 1. Okay, so when you say 5 or more than 5, so it includes 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Okay, so we are going to add 1 to 4. So 4 plus 1, that becomes 5. Okay. Then, let us copy the digit which is, which is found at the left, left side of the digit 4. So, while 6, 3, and 1 becomes 0. Okay, so that is now our answer. So, 84,631 when rounded to the nearest thousands it becomes 85,000. Okay? So, let us proceed. Okay, let's have an uh, example about rounding. Uh, rounding numbers to the nearest 10,000. Okay, so let's have number one. Okay, so number one, 
uh, that is 927,621 number 2 84,790 rounded to the nearest 10,000 okay we are going to round these numbers to the nearest 10,000 so again uh, in rounding numbers we are going to follow the steps Okay, step one, look at the digit to be rounded. So in number one, the digit to be rounded here is two. Okay, so since two is in, is located, or two is the digit that is found in the uh, ten thousands place. Okay, step two, look at the next digit at the right. So the next digit at the right is seven. So, what are we going to do? Since 7 is more than 5, so we are going to add 1. So, 2 plus 1, that becomes 3, and just copy the digit 9. Okay, what are we going to do with 7? We are going to change 7 to 0, 6, and, six 2, and 1 will become 0 also. Okay, so, therefore, the or if we are going to round... 927,621 to the nearest 10,000s, the answer is 930,000. Okay, number two, 84,790. Okay, the digit to be rounded here is 8. So, 8 is in the 10,000s place. So, the next digit at the right of 8 is 4. So, since it is less than 5, so what are we going to do? We are going to retain the digit. So, just copy the digit. So, write 8. Then, change 4 to 0. The same also with 7. 7 will become 0. 9 also will become 0. And, of course, just copy the last digit. Okay. So, that's how we are going to round numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Okay. So, steps in uh, rounding numbers to the nearest thousand so these are the steps in rounding numbers okay okay number one first one okay look at the digit to be rounded okay two look at the next digit at the right Okay. If if the next digit is less than five, okay. If it is less than five, so what we are going to do? We are going to retain the number. But if it is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to add one. Then lastly, you're going to change the next number 
Egypt Egypt to zero. Okay. So those are the steps in rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. So first look at the digit to be rounded. Second, look at the next digit at the right. If it is less than five, meaning if it is if the next digit is four, three, two, one, or zero, retain the number. But if it is five, if the next digit is five, six, seven, or eight, or nine, you're going to add one. And lastly, change the next digit to zero. So that's it. Uh, I just hope na meron po kayong natutunan sa lesson na to and uh, I am requesting you to please click the like button kung nagustuhan nyo yung uh, video na to and of course don't forget to subscribe and kung pwede uh, pakishare din para Makita din ito ng mga ibang mag-aaral or even the parents para magamit din nila. Okay, again, maraming maraming salamat po.